right, this morning we are talking about five simple, is it five, one, two, three, four, yes. five simple food switches that might make you look younger. Dr. Anthony Yoon is here to explain uh, what you should be choosing when you go shopping. It's part of his new book. It's called The Age Fix. Mm -hmm. And I like this because we're not just talking about expensive creams or procedures. We're talking about no. lifestyle stuff. Exactly. And it's very important to realize that what we eat can have a profound impact on how quickly we age and how our skin looks. And so these are five simple switches that can really make a nice difference in how your skin is. And we'll explain why each one works. And, and this is based on research, right? I mean, yeah. this is uh, it's all science. scientifically based. Yeah, so. Getting into the science. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, so we're going to start here. First one, instead of cream cheese, try almond butter. Okay, now okay, the thing with cream away. cheese is it's dairy, front. and a lot of people believe that dairy can increase acne and inflammation of the skin. Is that true? Uh, it, it is not 100% scientifically proven, but a lot of dermatologists are coming out with that information, a lot of okay. nutritionists. Almond butter is chock full of monounsaturated fatty acids. Uh, it also has protein, which are the building blocks of skin. So much better for your skin to put almond butter on your bagel than cream cheese. All right. And, and who knows if you should be eating that bagel, by the way, but that's another issue. We'll that get to that in a second. <laughs> okay. So um, what's wrong with coffee, Dr. Yoon? I love my coffee. So coffee is actually good because it has antioxidants. But what's bad about coffee is all the stuff we put in it, the sugar, yes. the cream. Yes. And coffee can discolor our teeth, which can make us look older, too. Mm -hmm. Green tea, if I had to pick any drink other than water, that's the best drink for anti Aging, I'd say it'd be green tea. Really? Because the antioxidants in green tea are ten or hundred times some some studies show more powerful than even vitamin C. So it's great oh. with kind of fighting free radical damage. How much do we need to be drinking? Do you know? Well the studies show upwards of four cups of green tea a day. Oh my goodness. But even if you drink one or two, yeah. and, and if you're a coffee drinker, let's say you drink three or four cups of coffee a day, just switch one cup of coffee for one cup of green tea and then gradually make that switch over m many months. Because I know it's hard to get off your coffee. But the green tea also has caffeine so you can still get that kind of caffeine boost you need in the morning. Also when you're shopping for green tea, you can find, because the taste of green tea, some people don't care for that, mm -hmm. but um, they're adding all kinds of flavors to green tea. It's really very nice. Exactly. So there's a lot of berry flavors yeah. that you can get with it now. So a lot of different varieties of it. Just just know that the antioxidants in green tea are better than any other types of teas. Definitely better than coffee. Really? Yes. All right. Um, tomatoes. Now this one may be surprising. Yes. But tomato sauce, cooked tomatoes, are actually better for you than fresh tomatoes. Really? Okay. Now it's, it's, it's lycopene is the antioxidant that's in tomatoes. And believe it or not, tomato paste, when tomato is cooked, it actually is more bioavailable. Your body will absorb it much better than in fresh tomatoes. Oh. So what that means is that you add some extra sauce to your pizza, yeah. you add extra sauce to your pasta, yeah. and that's going to be better for your skin. It makes sense because you figure this jar has a ton of tomatoes in it. So probably to, you know probably to eat the equivalent of all that lycopene in a tomato, but it's also the cooking process. It's actually the cooking process right. too, and it's it's fat soluble, so you add a little olive oil with it, even better. Really? All right, I like that. So this is one of the most important ones. Instead of white bread, yes, have whole wheat, whole grains. Okay. The problem with white bread is that they strip all the fiber, the bran, the germ out of it, and so it's digested much more quickly. So you get these sugar spikes. Yes. And sugar spikes create insulin spikes. And that can create inflammation that can be bad for your skin. Okay. So going with a whole grain, whole wheat, much better for your skin. First Definitely word on the go. ingredients should be whole. That yes. should be the first word you see. Exactly. All right, let's get to chocolate. Before All right. We run out of time. So chocolate's one of the best antioxidants. You have to have at least 70% cacao or cocoa. If you have less than that, like you find in commercial brand milk chocolates, yeah. there's too much added sugar then. Yeah. And that sugar is the worst thing for you. So go with at least 70% cacao, 70% cocoa, same thing. All right. Great for your skin. Just real quick before we run out of time, water, drinking water, does it, what does that do for our skin? Hydrates our skin. I mean, our bodies are made of mostly water. Yeah. So drinking water, technically that's the best drink for you. All right. Very good. Good stuff, Dr. Yoon. Thank you. Thank you. Here's our superstars, almond butter, green tea, tomato sauce, tomato paste, whole grains, and dark, dark chocolate. Yep. All right. That sounds good. We can make a little meal out of this. It's all uh, in the Age Fix, the new book by Dr. Yoon, which is uh, flying off store shelves. Yeah, selling great. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Lee.